Hey y'all, let's take a look at area again, uh, more geometry, and the area of par parallelograms and trapezoids. We'll get this. This is kind of funky here. I'll show you first though. Let's say you have. Well, you already know these, right? Let's say this is four by ten. The area is forty, right? Okay. Let's say this is four by ten, and that's the height is. Ugh, the height is ten. I can't draw a straight line. Well, that's going to be half the area of the base, or, or half the area of the base times the height. So you can either do half of four, two times ten is twenty, or you could do half of ten, four times five is twenty. Same thing. Area of a circle. Let's say the radius is ten. The area of a circle, of course, is pi times the radius squared. That'd be uh, 100 squared is 100. Excuse me, 10 squared is 100. So it's 100 pi, so about 314. All right. Now the area of this parallelogram. Finding this. Okay, here's the deal with these. If you look at a parallelogram, um, what, what you can do is basically look at it as if it is a rectangle, just kind of like squished to one side. Just because they, just because they, they take this, pretend you had an actual rectangle and with very bendable wire, you know, uh, let's say that the, the sides could be bent, but you couldn't change anything other than that you would just bend it like this, well, it's still going to have the exact same area inside. In other words, if this were a rectangle, and pretend like, pretend like we just had, we're gonna cut this part off right here, but I don't care about that. And we have this right here, that's six by three, okay? That's what we have. Well, that's gonna be 18, right? Six, this'll be, this'll be six here. The area of a, tri of a uh, rectangle is just the base times the height. 6 by 3 is 18. That's all you need. Uh, it doesn't matter that this part over here has got a 4 on it. We don't care about that. That's not the height. That will not play into our definition of area whatsoever. Parallelogram, all you need to know is how tall the thing is and what's the base. And either one of those bases is fine. It's going to be 6 times 3, 18. You're done just like a rectangle. All right. Same parallelogram is broken up into two triangles. See, it's the same thing, right? If you were to do it that way, you'd go, okay, well, this triangle here is three, six by three, which is going to be 18, but half of that, right? Because it's a triangle. <clears throat> so you go three times three. Well, that part's nine. Same thing here would be six, six by three. But of course, half of that, since it's a triangle, it's going to be nine as well. Just a little proof. That's also 18, that that's how you do uh, the area of a parallelogram. Now, um, you know what? We're going we're gonna to hold off on that part. I'm just going to go right to trapezoids. Um, the area of this trapezoid, you can look at this and go, wait a minute, this is kind of weird looking. Um, it's not going to work <clears throat> to say that, and of course the 7 means from here to here, we don't need this at all. So I'm just going to take, they're, they're going to put that in there to kind of like throw you a little bit, so don't be fooled by it. All you need to do is how tall is the thing and what's the base. Now the difference between this is, Look at the base on this as compared to the base on that. Well, the base on a parallelogram, of course, opposite sides are parallel, and they're also going to be congruent. So this is not the case, however, in a trapezoid. So you've got a height of four. You feel, I mean, even if you had no idea how to find the area of a trapezoid, you'd probably feel pretty sure that you'd be using that four, right? And you're right, you will be. But if you go, oh, I'm just going to multiply four by six, that'll be 24. But you could go, wait a minute. Well, this one on the bottom here is nine. Oh, maybe I'll just, I'll just multiply not 4 by 6, but 4 by 9. But you'd also go, wait a minute, this thing isn't, this line here isn't parallel to that line. In other words, if the, if the line were parallel, this base here would also be 9. And if this line were parallel going this way, then this base would be 6. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, I'm not doing 9 and I'm not doing 6. I'm going to average out 6 and 9 right in the middle and figure out what that is, multiply that by the height, and then go from there. Now, if you wanted to, if you knew that uh, right in the middle of six and nine was 7.5, you could go ahead and multiply, multiply that by four and get yourself 30, that'd be fine. Or you could go like this. You could say, um, I'm, I'm gonna add six plus nine, six plus nine, and I'm gonna multiply, or excuse me, I'm gonna multiply that by four. So six plus nine is 15. 15 times four is 30. Then you would not, of course, do both of those. You would find the average of those, which would be the same thing as dividing by two. So there you go. There you go. 60 divided by two is 30. And there's your answer. Okay. 
So trapezoid, excuse me, parallelogram, what's the base? What's the height? Multiply them together, gone. Don't get fooled by the diagonal, okay? The trapezoid is basically find the, the, the average of the bases and multiply that by the height and boom, you're done, okay? All right, let's look at the one on page, ones on page 365, so pause it and come back. Okay, I'm gonna go, well, since the trapezoid is first, I'll do that. Okay, so this thing is three units high. You don't wanna say, oh, it'll be six times three, that'll be 18, because if you do that, you're leaving off, you know, this part here, and you're leaving off this part here. You can't do that. But you also can't say, oh, it's gonna be three times eight. Because if you did that, you'd be pretending that the, uh, the figure had this area in there too, which it doesn't. So you just need to find exactly between, something right between 6 and 8, which obviously is 7. So you'll take right between 6 and 8 is 7, times 3, 21, there's your area. Now the parallelogram, you don't need to do anything else more than go, okay, 7 times 4 is 28, and that's my area. So that's all there is to it. Okay, all right. See you guys next time. Y'all take care.